Hello everyone, uh, welcome to another Transformers review. I thought I would do yet yeah, another uh, gold plastic suffering transformer. Um, this is the 1989 Autobot Skyhammer. Now he's one of the Mega Pretender sort of lines. Uh, this is how you first sort of come across him. This is his main shell. Uh, one thing I'll point out with this obviously this is a quite a common sight to see on places like eBay and that you often see the shells um, usually minus bits even like with the whole pretender side of it there's often little bits missing I'll go through all the bits as I go through the review but just having a quick look around the shell which contains everything in this mode quite a chunky sort of dropship sort of design a little bit reminiscent of the uh, aliens dropship I always think um, it's got a similar look about it obviously colour scheme wise it isn't but uh, it's not a bad vehicle mode quite chunky because obviously the pretender side of things now getting to what this sort of contains in this mode obviously the first thing you see is there's a hunking great big chunk of gold plastic generally speaking although gold plastic is awful you don't tend to see this part damaged much um, the only place it tends to get damaged is on these catches at the front sort of there and let that focus back in and there um, they're the only parts that really take much strain um, so it doesn't tend to suffer too much obviously you'd have to watch for little corners and that ain't been bashed but generally speaking the main shell tends to survive reasonably intact so that's not a bad sort of like uh, sufferer with the gold plastic even though you'd think it would still suffer in the same ways maybe it's because it's a little bit thicker it's a little bit stronger now what you do get in this mode is also some weapons now you've got removable missiles on the wings which are gold plastic so you have to be a little bit more careful with these I'm being very gingerly now I get that out post out of the hole um, both the same so they're both universal left or right again can be a bit of a pain to pick up because obviously you've got little bits on the top there and that focus that can easily sort of get rubbed and sort of damaged snapped off so if you're looking for one of those you don't have to get a particular side but you do have to be careful that there's no damage to them anyway that's those two the next bit which is often missing and a little bit more expensive to find is the little blue gun on the back here now again it's a little winged weapon a little post underneath so the post can get snapped off but it, they do crop up from time to time so I wouldn't suggest paying through the nose for them because you often see them every so often pop up for a reasonable price also just realised looking at it, it looks a little bit like laser beak but anyway, right, as a feature in this mode, and I'll show it a bit better later, it does have another weapon which pops up, which is you lift up the top bit there, not hinges at the front, and there's yet another weapon that you can flick over and deploy at the top there. So another little weapon. Um, you do even occasionally see these loose. I have come across where people don't know what that part is and you often sort of see the little gun loose as well but anyway I'll just fold that up get that out of the way so that's the basic shell opening up the main shell and again you see the little catches will go behind the gold plastic down here um, again these are the bits we'll put strain on so you just have to be a little bit careful with that the hinging part actually works on the grey plastic so again doesn't put too much strain on the base gold plastic part either so again that's quite nice then you get to the inside now before I go any further I'll even point out even the inside is nicely moulded they did put quite a bit of effort into that not so much in the top side but definitely on the bottom there's loads of moulding in there so nicely detailed transformer from the time I'll close that back up. Oh, another little thing I will point out is the fact that these rotors do go round. Not very effectively, but it is at least another little bit of detail they've put in. 
Oh, I'm putting the base pretender shell to one side. You're then looking at the next shell because it's like a triple pretender. Um, basically, you've then got inside here folded up this way, it's the only way you'll get it in there. You've got another pretender shell. Now, this becomes a vehicle, and I'll do the vehicle side of it first. So, you flip the little red tail fin over, flip the little blue wings out, and then flip those round. It's not the most convincing vehicle, I will forewarn you of that. And you've basically got another little sort of shuttle, something like that, a little spaceship. Now inside of this guy, if you extend these blue bits down so you can open it up, inside here is the final actual pretender. Now he is quite delicate and he does contain gold plastic parts. Now I'll show him in a little bit more detail in a minute, but obviously you can see now the main sort of shell part. You can, of course, in this mode, even with the legs extended, you can leave them out if you prefer it that way, but they should be pushed in for this mode. You can put him very carefully, moving the legs very carefully, because the uh, main groin part of this guy is also gold plastic, so you don't want to snap the main body. You can sit him inside there. Now I'm going to be honest with you, I don't really particularly like doing it because to do that you've got to pinch the legs together a little bit to get them to fit down into the holes. So it's not a great idea to put him in. Probably where you see a lot of these broken as well, that's probably what's been the main cause of that. But at a pinch you can fit him. If you get one where it's a bit damaged and you don't care you could display it that way but most people aren't going to display this guy in their vehicle modes anyway mainly because this guy is not yet again another pretender shell so you can once again pull the blue pieces of the front of the jet down carefully again and I do mean carefully you've got to prise apart the feet at the bottom now this is one of those moments where things could go horribly wrong um, do the other side as well and they tend to move together because of the bit of friction so it doesn't pay to move one it pays to move them both and again this is pretty tight so I'm being very careful with it so you fold them out flat ways like so and plunk it that way up so you can see that becomes feet and heel spurs fold the red tail fin back into that hole in the back and then you just need to revolve the sides round with the wings and that becomes his arms. Now he does have a lift up visor which is quite a nice little feature. Often again you often see these damaged or missing um, so it's quite nice you can actually lift that up and you see his little face there or you can have it down and have it like a almost like a astronaut's helmet or that sort of design. Um, you can either leave the wings out or for neatness fold them back and he becomes quite a neat little pretender um, smaller than the original line of pretenders but then that's fair enough because it's going into yet another shell um, but quite a tidy one obviously the same with all the other pretenders articulation is limited just to the arms but this is where the gold weapons come in you can peg those and again being careful peg those into his fists so that he's got weapons as well. So quite a neat, quite brightly coloured little pretender. Now put him to one side. And then we get to the main pretender, the actual little guy that this is all mainly named after. And then you get your basic little robot. Now this is, oh, let that focus back. This is your basic little pretender. Now this is more on the line of the later pretenders where they were a lot smaller. But more modelled in the designs of the earlier ones, so it's almost a mini version of those. Again, gold feet, you've got to be really careful with. And you just fold those out, 
from where he's been stored and again being careful because his whole body effectively is a gold plastic one piece item um, you can fit on a little hole on the side of his arm it isn't actually a fist as such but you can actually give him the blue weapon if you'll take it I don't want to again put too much strain on him or the post on the weapon but so you can hold the weapon like that not brilliant it would have been better if they'd have done a hole somehow in the top but it sort of works as a little robot mode now of course he is the main transformer of this sort of set so as such he does actually transform now again this is often you often see these broken at the groin area um, that is actually not a crack that's actually the joint in the plastic again you need to be very careful when transforming these guys because of the strain on them I will transform it so you actually get to see one of these guys in his proper mode you need to swing the arms round and then very carefully swing the legs up and over like so and I believe that is it now you can peg the weapon into the hole on his chest and it does fit even though his legs are a bit of a weird angle because it's right at the back the post is right at the back of the weapon so it does still fit in it makes an unusual little vehicle let's be honest that's not the best design in the world um, again not Hasbro's finest hour but it's okay um, you can fiddle around with the position of the arms just to fit slightly better but there's not a great deal of movement there to do much with it like I say it's not brilliant now taking that again carefully back to his robot mode and like I say sometimes you've got to be a little bit daring and actually use these guys even though they're gold plastic you can of course put him up on top of the larger pretender shell and he's actually got now this is one thing I would again suggest being careful with he has got little cutouts on his toes now again that's a little weak point on the main shell inside that compartment you'll see that there's two little posts now you can obviously sit them there I would suggest not putting too much strain on that they will sit there quite happily but I wouldn't force them down too hard but it does mean that you can stand a man a weapon on top not very aerodynamic so it's more of a if it had landed it's almost like using it as a bit of a base but you know it is another feature but all in all he's a pretty good bot it's um, well worth picking up if you can find one in good condition I was very lucky to get one um, I'm trying to think how many years ago now it's quite a few years ago that I managed to pick this guy up but I did hold out till I could find one in good condition as a rule as I say the gold plastic is a major disaster in Hasbro's history but this one doesn't seem to suffer quite as badly your main points to watch for are actually more so the toes on that guy on the middle shell and actually the feet and the groin area on this guy um, like I say the parts show up from time to time for a reasonable price you don't have to pay silly money I've seen the little blue gun people asking 14 quid for that it's not worth that and they do crop up for less than that and often is the case you will come across one of these guys where it's near complete or more or less complete and that's still included the point to look for is that it's sitting on the tail at the back of the main pretender shell as a size comparison I shall put in let's see something what people would be a bit more familiar with I'll put in a generations bot and I'll put in well to give you a rough idea size scale it's quite a big bot obviously generation scale well towers over the pretender shell for the middle pretender 
but it still kind of works in scale. Um, obviously with the smaller robot mode you're talking almost like a Cyberverse size figure for the inner robot which again a little bit disappointing when you consider what the original pretender sizes were but then you're getting quite a lot of toy in this satchel set so like I say well worth picking up if uh, you can find a good one anyway I think uh, that's pretty much all of it covered I uh, hope you've enjoyed this little review and I shall hopefully see you again either for a Transformers review or for a haul vid. Thanks for watching.